Residents are voicing their concerns after a man shot himself with a gun he brought into the emergency room of Wheeling Hospital. It's our top story tonight. Thank you for joining us. I'm Rich Pierce. And I'm Kate Davison. That's where News 9's Gage Golding joins us live now. Gage. Good evening, Rich and Kate. Thank you. Residents that we spoke with here in Wheeling say they are concerned and shocked after they heard a person was able to bring a loaded weapon inside an area hospital. But now they have questions. Oh, I'd like to know how you get a gun in there. That's a question that nearly everyone we spoke to asked. How did a weapon get inside of a hospital? A hospital is somewhere where you're supposed to feel safe. A trip to the hospital is almost inevitable, but with doctor's care, you're usually on your way in no time. But after a man who was brought into an area hospital by ambulance took out a gun and shot himself, some Wheeling residents are thinking twice. No, I mean, we need hospitals. We need the care. It's just we need to feel safe as well. If you can't go to a hospital, where can you go? That very question made another Ohio County resident think, what can hospitals do to help boost security? Brings the question, of course, uh, you know, do you now have to check people coming in the emergency room, something you wouldn't have thought of before. That's where Ohio County Emergency Management Agency Director Lou Vargo comes into play. Vargo and his team work hand in hand with area hospitals to properly train their staff. What we do as a county level is go in there and you know, teach out the ALICE program. The ALICE program, which stands for Alert, Lockdown, Inform, Counter, and Evacuate, is the same program that emergency officials use to train local schools. We have to modify it to the hospitals because locking down a classroom versus locking down a hospital uh, ward with 30 or 40 patients is entirely different. And even with local law enforcement officials actively working to prevent and counter these situations, one resident says violent incidents such as active shooters are here to stay. It's a scary thought, but I guess, I mean, with today's day and age, it's just something that people have gotten used to. It's like it's honestly expected now. Like you turn on the TV and it's like you just almost expect to see something about another mass shooting. And we reached out to officials at Wheeling Hospital and they declined to comment on the situation at this time. Reporting live in Wheeling for News 9 at 6, I'm Gage Golding.